Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. If you haven't been here before, uh, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe to help the channel grow. My name is Autumn Ari, and I'm here to do my very own quest to complete the Pokedex. I know a few YouTubers have done this before, but I really wanted to try it for myself, get my feet wet in the Poketuber community before I got into other things like battle leagues and competition. Um, I've watched YouTubers for a few years now, I've always wanted to try it on my own, so this is my attempt at trying it. So here we are! And I won't be able to upload content as much as the Poketubers just because I am a college student, I'm doing research, working on my PhD. So my time is a little bit limited, but since classes are done for a few weeks, I have some time to sit down and record here and there. Hopefully try to upload content at least once a week, um, if not more. So a little bit more about me. Uh, my name is Autumn Marie, as I mentioned again. I've watched Pokemon and been into Pokemon since it came out in the 90s. I watched the anime. I was into the trading cards. I didn't get to get into the video games that much until later on because I didn't have a Game Boy Color. But once I got a Game Boy Color, I started getting into the games. I fell off a little bit around Gen 4 and Gen 5, but I came back up with Gen 6 and onwards, and I've loved it ever since. I'm so glad I got back into the Pokemon scene. I'm really excited for the new games coming out this November with uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. And now I just wanted to start my own series called The Quest to Complete the Pokedex which I thought was an original name back in the day, but then as I started looking around on YouTube, I saw that a lot of YouTubers call it that. So, anyway. So the goal here is to play through at least one game in each of the series, like each of the generations in the main series, to try and fill up the National Pokedex the best that I can. I might also be playing uh, another version of that game side by side, off screen, so I can trade Pokemon around, but I'm still deciding on whether or not I want to do it that way. Most of the, the main videos will just be me playing through the story, trying to beat the gym leaders, everything else. I'll do some live streaming to do like level grinding, maybe some shiny hunting depending on how I feel that day, but probably just grinding will be on the live stream. It'll most likely be on YouTube as well, like I have a Twitch account but I'm still learning how to use it. And each generation will have its own little page to kind of show which Pokemon I've caught so far by the sprites. So if I go to Kanto, you can see we've got little Pokeballs for each of the Pokemon. And when I catch a Pokemon, like you can see in the bottom corner, the little sprite will show up. And if I don't have the Pokemon yet, their sprite won't be there. So this shows all of the gaps I have to fill in. Oops. Well, spoiler alert, but the game I'm starting with, instead of doing the Kanto games, which would seem more traditional, I wanted to start with the Generation 2, because that was the first generation that I got to play on the video games, and it also does have a Kanto region, so it balances out. I'll probably still play through the original Kanto game. Um, if I get the opportunity, but as of now, I'm just going to start with Gen 2, and uh, the game that you already saw that I'm going to be playing is, drumroll, da -da 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 -da, Pokemon Crystal. So I chose this game because this was literally the very first Pokemon game I ever played, and it was also the only game that I've never reset in terms of Game Boy Color Pokemon games to replay. And I was only about... I think two or three Pokemon away from officially completing the Pokedex in this game. Um, the the Chansey and the other Safari Zone Pokemon were a little hard for me to catch, but I'm excited to try and make that progress in this version as well of the game and of the playthrough. And I just am really excited to replay this game in general, because I can still see myself playing this game the day that I got it, which was uh, my birthday, I don't know if it was like the 11th birthday or what age I was, but I remember going to uh, Toys R Us and getting the bundle where you get the green Game Boy Color and the Pokemon Crystal game, and I got that little accessory pack that has like the charger and the little like USB light, so I would be sitting in the rocking chair that night and I was playing the game. So now I'm going to start with this game and uh, replay it. Uh, in this playthrough. So hopefully you'll enjoy, 
Hopefully everything will record correctly and uh, let's get this started. So, we get the volume on. Oh, I'm so excited. I hope you're excited too. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Hopefully I can get through a bunch of games and not end up quitting at the end because I get too busy. I'm going to make sure I try and at least set out half an hour each day to do this. I might bulk record a little bit, um, but I'll try to make sure I'm interactive with you guys in the uh, comment section. And I'm just really excited. Uh, warning, you might hear some weird noises in the background. I'm going to try and cover it up with the music, but like my chair squeaks sometimes. Um, I have pet birds in the other room, so sometimes they'll be squawking around. My roommate has a cat that meows quite a bit. And I also live close to a street, so you might hear like trucks go by or drunk college kids, or there's a family that lives a few houses down, so their kids might be playing as well. So I apologize for that. Perhaps I can save up for some equipment to kind of muffle that sound, but right now I have the microphone sensitivity turned down a little bit, so hopefully that will help counteract that. Um, let's make sure the in-game audio. Okay, so it seems, oh, that sound. Wait, let's see if I can hear it again. Ah, that's a good sound, the ba-ding of the Game Boy system. Oh man. Oh, that's a nostalgic sound. I'm doing it one more time. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Okay. All right. I'm like worried that you won't be able to hear. I'll adjust the in-game audio if it doesn't seem loud enough, but let's get this started. Question of the day, of course, for this beautiful start. Hmm. The following functions are not supported in this title. Restore points and suspend points. Does that mean I can't save? We're going to find out. Because I don't know what that means. Oh, there it is. It's so classic. Oh, man. It's awesome. Oh man, I remember this. Boo, 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 boo. <gasps> Egad. Oh, that sweet thing's gonna crush that unknown. Or if you should, I'd be a little ashamed if they didn't. Oh, it was spelled out, crystal and the thing, that's awesome. I remember grinding for all the unknowns so I could unlock the, uh, the question mark and the apostrophe, not the apostrophe, the exclamation point. Maybe I'll do that again, who knows. Alright, so before I get started, of course, obvious question of the day. What is your favorite starter in Johto? Uh, leave a comment below, let me know what your favorite starter was, you're going to see what mine was in a few bit, in a few bit. In a little bit, a few minutes, kind of combine those into one sentence, totally fine. Um, Alright, so we're going to turn this around, and we're going to get started. Also, sorry if you can hear me uh, pressing the buttons through the microphone. I'll try not to um, press them too hard. I'll use the stylus. I got a little stylus that comes with my case to match my... Uh, 2DS XL that you can't really see that well because I have it plugged in so it's kind of stuck where it is. Um, oh wait, tap to touch screen to go to the virtual console menu. Okay, looks like I won't be using my stylus. Haha! -ha! Um, Alright. It seems like the in-game audio is picking up pretty well so I'm going to turn it down just a tad bit. I want to make sure that you guys can hear me without being drowned out by the in-game audio, even though the in-game audio is beautiful. Um, yeah, we want to make sure you guys can hear it. So I'm going to just turn it down a little bit from where I'm listening to it. Alright, um... 
Um, hopefully that works fine. We're going to find out. <laughs> I can also fix the sensitivity of the microphone, but you might end up hearing like the cat meowing in the background, which is what he's doing right now. Or you might hear uh, the birds chirping and people walking by. I'm trying to avoid that. So if it turns out in post-production of this video that the in-game audio wasn't that great, I can make some adjustments. But we're going to just play this out. New game. Am I a boy or am I a girl? Ha, oh, the binary is fun. We're going to go with girl, especially because it's mostly what I am. And this was the first game where you could play as a girl in the Pokemon land. So we're going to go with that. Bam. Many dots. It's funny because it looks like yellow on this screen, but it's white on this screen. Maybe it's the... I don't know. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. Will you check the clock for me? What time is it? All right, it is morning. No, it is evening. Night. Eight o'clock. It's 8.03 here, pretty close. I don't think I'm really going to be able to specify specifically, so we're going to go with 8 o'clock. How many minutes? Oh, I can specify. All right, 8.03. Whoa! Three minutes? Yes. Night 803. No wonder it's so dark. Haha. -ha. Even though the sun's still up in the background because it's summertime. Well, almost summertime. We gotta hit that equinox, but you know. Wait, did we hit the equinox already? I think that happens in June. Anyway. Ah! Ooh! Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. What up, Oak? Aren't you supposed to be Professor Elm? Da -da -da -da. People call me the Pokemon Professor. I wish I could get my PhD in Pokemon. This world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon. Go, Looper. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Good for you studying every day, not just cramming for the Pokemon exam. Now, what did you say your name was? Oh. Chris Amanda Juan Juan Juan. Uh, either way, I'm putting my own name in. We're gonna go with Autumn. Can't add the RE, so we'll just stick with Autumn here. Autumn, are you ready? Heck yeah! Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. Like laundry. Well, no, because you fold laundry, so take laundry out to wear. We're gonna pretend that didn't happen. Uh, you'll face fun times and tough challenges. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! I'll be seeing you later. I'm tiny! Oh, I'm so little! What do all the buttons do? Okay, so save. I would like to save the game. Hopefully it actually saves. Oh, I'm save the game! I don't know why the color is so weird on this. Because it's not this color on mine, on like the actual 2DS, but it's kind of like a yellow tint here. Okay everyone, I'm back. Um, couldn't really figure out the color issue. I guess we'll just have to go with like the more classic Game Boy Color feel. Um, I tried looking all around on the internet. And in other settings with like the software I'm using to record this, couldn't really find anything. So if anyone has any like helpful hints or other things that we could use to try and like help the weird color of how the game looks right now, please feel free to send them my way. As you can tell, I'm still really new at all of this, so ugh, I'm trying, I'm trying. But all right, time to take our first steps. Nyer. <laughs> Alright, let's see. 
Do I have any items to withdraw? No. Sad. Decoration. Oh. I could put my bed away. <laughs> I have no bed. Uh, where am I gonna sleep? Ah! Actually, I kind of want my bed back. I didn't know you could do that. Bed! Yay! This must be where, like, Gen 3 was heading with the secret bases. Aw, oh, I can't sleep in my bed. But I'm tired! It's a TV! Oh. <laughs> Alright. <gasps> what up, Mom? Eh. Oh, Autumn. Our neighbor, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot. Your Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop. Here you go. Do, do, do. I don't remember this. It's essential if you want to be a good trainer. Oh, the day of the week isn't set. You mustn't forget that. What day is it? What day is it? Oh, it's Thursday. <laughs> Thursday, is it? Yes. Is it daylight saving time? Um, fall back, spring ahead. Does that mean no? Oh, daylight savings time. Began Sunday, March 11th, and Sunday, November 4th. So yes. 8 p.m. DS Daylight Savings. We're going to go with yes. Come home to adjust your clock for daylight saving time. By the way, do you know how to use the phone? I remember this a little bit. Don't you just turn the poke gear on and select the phone icon? Phone numbers are stored in memory. Just choose a name you want to call. Wasn't it like that one kid on the route would always call about his shorts or something? Or his ratata, one of the two. Probably both. Gee, isn't that convenient? Doo -doo, who the F is this? E. Good evening, Autumn. I'm visiting. Autumn, have you heard? My daughter is adamant about becoming Professor Elm's assistant. She really loves Pokemon. I have no idea who that is. Let's go explore! Woo! <gasps> ah, it's so dark out. Eh. Yo, Autumn. I hear Professor Elm discovered some new Pokemon. Well, that's cool. It's not the greatest quality we got going on here, is it? Hmm. Ah, oh, hug it here. Let me try something real quick. Okay, back for the last time. Better turn this up a little bit. Okay. Oh, take three. Hopefully, everything will work. In terms of the audio, I turned the audio down when I was researching and now I'm like a little regretful. Um, so hopefully the balance is still fine. I couldn't figure out the color issue. It seems like some other people who are using the NTR Snickerstream software are also like having weird color things going on. So you know what? We're just gonna play the game. If anyone in the audience has any sort of like solution to this, please feel free to send it my way. Um, I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's just play the game. Okay. We're going to just pretend like it's normal quality. I keep holding down the B button to run. That's it's not how this is going to go. Pikachu is an evolved Pokemon. <gasps> Egad! I was amazed by Professor Elm's findings. He's so famous for his research on Pokemon evolution. Sigh. I wish I could be a researcher like him. It's a trap, lady. Trust me. Who's this? 
Hi, Autumn. My husband's always so busy. I hope he's okay. When he's caught up in his Pokemon research, he even forgets to eat. That sounds unhealthy, but also like a college student. When I grow up, I'm going to help my dad. I'm going to be a great Pokemon professor. You go, little child. You have aspirations. Did I talk to her yet? Wow, your Pokegear is impressive. Did your mom get it for you? <gasps> There's the big bad. What are you doing? So this is the famous Elm Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? Ow! Violent! Jeez. Alright, get me in here. Elm! Oh wait, that's him. Autumn! There you are! I needed to ask you a favor. I'm conducting new Pokemon research right now. I was wondering if you could help me with it, Autumn. You see, I'm writing a paper that I want to present at a conference. Relatable, relatable. But there are some things I don't quite understand yet. So, I'd like you to raise a Pokemon that I recently caught. Heck yeah! Thanks, Autumn. You're welcome, Professor Elm, anytime. You're a great help. Aww. When I announce my findings, I'm sure we'll delve a bit deeper into the many mysteries of Pokemon. You can count on it. Oh, hey, I got an email. Ho oh, ho, big thing back then. Mm hmm, uh huh. Okay. That's also how I respond to my emails. Hey, listen. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. <gasps> it is intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Wait! I know! Autumn, can you go in our place? Apparently I can suddenly present as professors in this field. It's fine. I mean, it's essentially how I'm going to be when I get my PhD. Be like, yeah, maybe I can do this. I want you to raise one of the Pokemon contained in these balls. They couldn't have said Pokeballs. <sighs> You'll be the Pokemon's first partner, Autumn. Aww. Go on, pick one. Gotta enjoy the music real quick. Actually, I'm gonna look in the trash can first. Oh. I want a snack. I'm so hungry. Aw, Cyndaquil's so cute! You'll take the Cyndaquil, the fire Pokemon? No. Think it over carefully. Your partner is important. As is in life. Totodile! Do you want Totodile, the water Pokemon? No. This is the one I want. Oh, look at his little face! Oh, that's so cute! Oh, man. Oh, look at the little baby. So you like Chikorita the grass Pokemon? Yes. I think that's a great Pokemon, too. Aww. Give a nickname to the Chikorita you received? Yes. What am I gonna nickname my Chikorita? It looks like an Oddish. That's funny. I should nickname it Oddish, but I'm not going to. Well, it's a boy, so I can't name... I can't name him Rita. But then again, I'm always about messing up the gender binary. Um... Hmm. See, I had a name picked out earlier, now I can't remember what it was. I can't remember what I nicknamed my Chikorita when I first played. Um. Also, this music is very distracting. I 
kind of want to nickname him Chico, but I don't think that is a good idea because I think that's slang. Wait, I better double check. Oop, translate. Oh no, it's just boy. But what about when he becomes a meganium and he's a bird? What about Brian? Brian the Chikorita. I don't like that, actually. How about we just don't give him a nickname yet? Okay, no nickname. Mr. Pro Mr. Professor. Mr. Pokemon lives a little bit beyond Cherry Grove, the next city over. It's almost a direct route there, so you can't miss it. But just in case, here's my phone number. Call me if anything comes up. If your Pokemon is hurt, you should heal it with this machine. Feel free to use it anytime. I'm a Nurse Joy now! I'm a nurse and a researcher. Wow! Autumn, I'm counting on you. Uh oh. Let's see. <gasps> My Chikorita has an item. Wait, I can't s Oh! Look at the little head thing. Oh, he's got a berry! Well, now that we officially have our little baby Chikorita, let's save this. It says 30 minutes. But what had happened was, we didn't actually do 30 minutes of playing. But I am going to go and... Let's see. We're going to add our little Chikorita. Oh, there he is! Oh, wait. Uh. Oh, man. Here we go. No, uh? Nope, that didn't help. Um. Crap! Uh. How do I unlock this? Oh, here we go. Lock preview. Okay. Come here, little guy. Oh, no. I just want to move you. There we go. I'm getting the hang of this. I'm getting the hang of this. So we've got the first member of our party. I think I'm going to end this video here. Let me know in the comment section below what your favorite Jotaro starter Pokemon is. My favorite Jotaro starter Pokemon, as you can see, is Chikorita. And there's an interesting story behind that. And that is, usually, I choose the fire types, right? Like Charmander, Torchic, the other ones. And I really do love Cyndaquil a lot. But I also really like Chikorita. And I really liked Ash's Chikorita and Ash's Cyndaquil in the anime. But Chikorita edged out just a little bit. And I chose Chikorita when I did my very first playthrough of this game as a small child. So I decided to choose Chikorita again. And we're going to go on an adventure with our Chikorita named Chikorita for now. So thank you all for tuning in. I hope to see you back for the next episode where we're going to go see Mr. Pokemon and figure out what the heck is going on. Have a great evening. Autumn Ari out.